it happens to the best of us. One day you look in the mirror and things just aren't quite as fresh and youthful as they once looked. And you start to wonder like, is it really time for me to start my anti-aging game? When is the right age to do that? Am I too young? So give this video a big thumbs up because today it's all about a beginner's anti-aging routine. We're gonna talk about when is the best time to start those anti-aging products. And the answer might surprise you. We're also gonna talk about the ingredients that are very effective when you're just getting started with your anti-aging game. Plus, I'm gonna give you guys some product recommendations. <music> So let's talk about the concept of anti-aging because the word anti-aging is something that I really don't like. I really do not like that word. Um, anti-aging, when I think about it, it sounds like anti, against, against all aging or fighting all aging at all costs, right? When you think about anti-aging, you think about Botox, you think about extreme chemical peels, retinol, things like that. It kind of makes you want to run, right? It's a little scary. It's a little intense. I really like to follow the philosophy of well aging. Now, well aging is a Korean concept and it's all about not fighting aging, but instead accepting that aging is a process that happens to every single human being on planet Earth. You can't fight it, but instead of fighting with it, it's all about how to age well, how to work with the aging process, how to go with the flow, so to speak, instead of fight it. And well aging isn't just about the products that you put on your face. It's actually um, all about your diet, your exercise, your mindset. It encompasses everything about taking care of yourself so that you set yourself up for success as you age well. So when should you start your anti-aging routine? I think that is a question that a lot of us who clicked on this video have, and it's actually a question that I receive a lot. And my answer might surprise you because the answer to that question is in your early to mid 20s. Some of you might have been expecting to me say when you hit 30, and that's definitely the way I think a lot of people um, think about it because once you hit about the age of 30, you do start to see some visible signs on your skin of aging. But let me give you the answer to why I say in your early 20s, and there's actually two reasons. The number one reason um, comes down to uh, collagen. Now collagen is a very important structure in our skin. Collagen is a protein structure that basically is responsible for keeping your skin firm, keeping your skin plump, um, keeping it looking very uh, youthful, bouncy, elastic. Collagen literally is what makes your skin look good. Now when collagen starts to break down, that's when wrinkles form. Um, and collagen can be destroyed by UV damage, of course, but your body actually naturally produces the collagen to create the protein structure. And as you age, like with everything, your collagen, your natural collagen production will decrease with time as you age and that is where we see those signs of sagging skin wrinkles loss of firmness and elasticity it's because the collagen is just not being produced in those high amounts anymore now as I said your body starts to decrease the collagen that process starts at age 25 yeah, it actually starts a lot sooner than we think it does, right? So sometimes it's a little earlier for some people, sometimes it's a little later, but right around that time, that age of 25, collagen production starts to go down. And that is why I say this is the time to start thinking about using those anti-aging ingredients and products in your routine in your mid-20s, uh, early to mid-20s, because you definitely want to head this off. And here's that second reason why I say um, why you should start in your early to mid 20s is because I truly believe in the concept that prevention is the key. Treatment is really hard. You'll hear this a lot in the medical field. They'll say it's a lot easier to prevent a disease than it is to treat the disease, right? It's a lot easier to prevent a wrinkle uh, than it is to treat it. Once that wrinkle is there, you may be able to plump it up. You may be able to kind of temporarily smooth it out but you'll never be able to really get rid of the wrinkle. Once the damage is done, it is done, and it's just a real uphill battle to treat 
the signs of aging than it is to prevent them. So I'm definitely all about prevention and starting a beginner's anti-aging routine in your mid, uh, your early to mid 20s is really a good idea. Now this advice is going to apply to everybody, but I am definitely focusing in on those who are in their 20s and even in their 30s who are looking to start incorporating a little bit more um, of the anti-aging ingredients and products into their routine. So you're not going to find any like retinol or a lot of chemical exfoliation or anything like that in the product recommendations that I'm about to give you because this is really about easy products that you can put into your everyday routines that you know you're going to start protecting yourself for the long run. So one of the ingredients that I want you guys to consider adding into your routine as you begin your anti-aging journey is vitamin C. Now vitamin C is a very potent ingredient and it has a ton of benefits for the skin and I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with some of them. Now remember when I was talking about collagen, remember the protein structure of your skin that's basically responsible for the look and feel of your skin? Now there is some debate out there about applying collagen topically to your skin. The thing is your body naturally produces collagen but when you apply ingredients topically through skincare it's not always a given that your body is going to be able to absorb those ingredients and really know how to use them to their like most efficiency. Do you know what I mean? Like they're just not able to use them as well. And that's why I really want to pinpoint vitamin C for you guys because vitamin C doesn't necessarily contain collagen in it, but when you apply vitamin C onto your skin, it actually stimulates your body's natural collagen production. So this is gonna be a very good ingredient to have because as I said, your body is kind of starting to decrease the amount of collagen it's producing. So if we can kind of stimulate it to help it create more of its own collagen that is going to be a good thing. Vitamin C also contains a lot of antioxidants and this is another ingredient that we want to pinpoint in our anti-aging routines because antioxidants protect the skin from free radical damage and not only do they protect your skin from damage occurring but it can actually help your skin to regenerate itself from damage that's already been done. So antioxidants are another one that we want to start to search out for in our skincare products. So when it comes to vitamin C I've got two products for you guys and one is the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin C Drop. Now this is the product that I really recommend for those of you who have never used vitamin C before in your routines. This is definitely going to be the one for you. Now vitamin C is not chemical exfoliation technically but I want you to kind of treat it like it is chemical exfoliation because it is a very powerful and potent ingredient that can cause some sensitivity on the skin. It's definitely something that should be introduced slowly into a routine and you should definitely build up your usage over time. So the reason that I, I choose this one for beginners is it's a low percentage. It's a 5% vitamin C, but it is still very, very effective. The other reason why I really like this one, you may have heard about vitamin C needing to be stored in the refrigerator, which is kind of a pain in the butt for those of us who don't have refrigerators in our bathrooms, which is a lot of us, right? So um, this one's nice. It's a stabilized formula that does not need to be refrigerated. Just keep it out of direct sunlight, but it is a stabilized formula. So very, very convenient. Now, for those of you who have used vitamin C and maybe are looking to kind of kick it up a notch, I have another vitamin vitamin C product for you and this is the Neogen Real Vita C Powder Lemon. This is 17% uh, vitamin C and it's in a powder form so you just mix this in with your toners or your moisturizers and you're good to go. Now again this is convenience. You do not need to refrigerate this one because it's in powder form and you don't really need to worry about it too much with direct sunlight. We've got a darkened jar here and the powder formula just definitely takes any questions of oxidization out of our mind. So definitely some good vitamin C C products here. So vitamin C has a best friend and that is vitamin E. Now vitamin E on its own is actually a really great ingredient to single out for anti-aging because it's chock full of antioxidants. Remember those are the ingredients that really help protect our skin from damage. But vitamin E and vitamin C together actually boost each other's results and benefits. Isn't that amazing? So if you're going to be using vitamin C I highly recommend that you add in a vitamin E product. And I recommend the Claire's Freshly juice vitamin E mask. Now this is a really 
easy product to add into your routine because it's dual use. You can use this as your sleeping mask um, or you can also use it as your moisturizer. It can replace your moisturizer, which I think is a really easy way to incorporate this product into your routine. So first things first, if you're gonna use this with vitamin C, please expect that your skin is gonna glow in the dark. <laughs> Not in the dark, but you're gonna wake up the first night that you use it after the first night using this and your skin is gonna be like, whoa, bright, glowing with health. This is a glow maker. So if you have any concerns about um, uneven skin tone or even hyperpigmentation, definitely get the vitamin C and E duo because you're going to get the additional benefits of brightening. Now, I also want to point out, besides the vitamin E, this also contains an ingredient called adenosine. Now, adenosine is found in a lot of K-Beauty products, but it's got really good wrinkle fighting properties to it. So this is going to be a great addition to your routine. So let's talk about peptides. Now, peptides are kind of a confusing subject, at least to me, because I feel like there are so many different names for peptides in the ingredients list. And I also feel like a lot of brands use peptides as like a marketing buzzword. But the funny thing is about peptides is a lot of times when they say, and it's got peptides in it, you look at the ingredients list and you realize the peptides are the very last listed ingredient, right? So a lot of a lot of products will, will boast that they have peptides in them, but usually it's not a lot. That's why I want to single out a product for you guys that has a lot of peptides in it. Now, why do we want peptides? Well, first of all, peptides are part of the structure that makes the, the protein structure of our skin. So um, peptides are actually found, again, in your skin naturally and your body naturally produces them, just like the collagen. They actually work together to create that protein structure. Now peptides naturally produced by your body, again, start to decrease as we get older around the age of 25. So not a bad idea to start adding those back into your skin through skincare products. As I mentioned, I have a peptide serum that definitely goes the extra mile when it comes to the amount of peptides in it. And that is the Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop. Now, I like this, and the reason why I really want to tell you guys about this one is the fact that, okay, it contains two different peptides, which is great, but by weight, this serum, 93% of this serum, is peptides. The first ingredients listed are the two peptides in here. Not only that, but there's only about 12 ingredients total in this. This is pure peptides. I mean, I can tell you that there's guazoline in it and blueberry extract, but it doesn't really matter because we're talking about 93% of the formula is pure peptides. The other reason why this makes the list is not only did I use about half the bottle and started to see results on my skin as far as my skin looking firmer um, and a little bit more tighter in appearance, but I also single this out because this is what I would call a universal product. Now this means that it is going to be perfect for all skin types because the texture of this product is basically water. Um, so it's never going to feel heavy on any skin. It's never going to feel greasy on any skin. It has no finish to it. It's really easy to add into any skincare routine for any skin type. So this is definitely a really high quality product. Now I do want to give a shout out to another product that contains not as many peptides, but it definitely does have some peptides in it, but there's some other great anti-aging type of ingredients in this. And I just quickly want to shout out the Purito Centella Green Level Buffet Serum. So this does have a touch of peptides in it, much lower on the list, but this has 49% Centella. Centella is amazing for soothing the skin. It's got anti-inflammatory benefits. It's great for acne prone skin. But you may not have known, it also has wrinkle fighting benefits and properties to it as well. So another peptide product that I want to show you guys contains a peptide called EGF. Now, as I told you before, peptides kind of go by a bunch of different names and it gets kind of confusing, but one of the more popular forms of peptides that you'll see is called EGF. And I want to show you this product not only because it contains the peptides, but also because it's a category of product that I think is really an essential component to anti-aging, and that is eye creams. Now, let me tell you, when I, one of the reasons why I really got into K-Beauty was because of its affordability. And before I was into K-Beauty, 
I wanted to have an eye cream in my routine. I wanted to um, have those types of products, but they just were cost prohibitive. Like they're just so expensive. But then when I got into K-Beauty, there were so many affordable eye cream options out there. Like I'm thinking like $10 and less affordable. Brands like Mizan, Apu, Purito, uh, Milky Dress, all of these brands all have very affordable eye creams. So even if you're just starting out, and you don't have a lot of skincare dollars, right? Check into those brands and look for their very affordable eye cream options because I think it is important to give that area just a little bit of extra TLC because when it comes down to it, there are just a few places that will really give your age away and one of them is definitely the eye area. This eye area is much thinner, it's a little bit more delicate and it's more prone to uh, wrinkles and expression lines because of how we speak, how we talk, we use our eyes to express ourselves and it's uh, we're more prone to wrinkles in that area. The collagen breakdown is definitely going to happen there a little bit sooner. Eye creams can help protect the skin, keep it plump, to keep it hydrated, keep it moisturized. You don't necessarily need to do a whole lot there, but if you are looking to kind of up your game, I do want to recommend to you guys the Manual Factory 4GF Eye Cream. Now I really like this one, it's got a high percentage of peptides in in it. It is, um, it's a little bit more expensive than that, but around that $10 that we were just talking about, this is about more like $25 to $30. As I said, this is kind of more of a step up, um, but this this tube will last you forever. So it is, it's actually a pretty, it's a pretty decent deal when you think about it. Now this is going to keep your eye area looking very bright, really refreshed. It's definitely going to help you fight away the wrinkles with the peptides. I personally do not struggle with dark circles, but I have spoken to some people who have used this who have said that they've seen an improvement in dark circles. So I just want to throw that one out there. It is possible that it can help the dark circles, but I think having an eye cream, no matter what you choose, is a very important component of your beginner's anti-aging routine. And finally, if I could only tell you one product that is going to make the biggest difference in your anti-aging game, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced, whatever, the one product that's really going to protect your skin from the signs of aging would be sunscreen. You probably guessed that one. And if you're like me, when you hear people kind of get on their high horse about sunscreen, you're like, I know, I know, I know it's important, right? And we should all be wearing it daily anyways for um, many, many reasons. But here's the thing. Um, if you're not wearing sunscreen yet, now is the time to start because if you're worried about the signs of aging, look, exposure to the sun, unprotected exposure to the sun will make you look old. It will rapidly age your skin. This is not a joke. I'm not trying to scare you. This is just the truth. The sun will make you look old very quickly. And um, if you're like me, you might see some people who are your age that look a lot older because they don't wear sunscreen. So sunscreen, the reason why we want to, want to wear it is UV, exposure to UV light without any type of protection can actually damage the collagen in your skin. It can damage your collagen structure, which means we're talking about sagging skin, thin skin, we're talking definitely wrinkles, but the sun can also cause sun damage on your skin, which results in dark dark uh, sunspots, or sometimes they're called liver spots, and that's not a good look, right? Uh, the sun will make you look really old really, really quickly. And just another tip for you guys who maybe are wearing daily sunscreen, I think we do have a tendency to sort of stop at our chin, am I right? Um, especially if you're like me and you like to save money. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the sunscreen's expensive. I'm only putting it on my face. No, you need to put it on your neck as well. Um, there are, there's three areas besides like just your face alone that can really tell your age. This is, they say, you can tell a woman's age by a couple of areas. The eye area, of course, we talked about that already, but the neck. If your face is like banging, it looks amazing, smooth, plump, supple, choke, choke, but you got neck, neck wrinkles, Come on, it's just, you gotta put sunscreen on your neck, right? Make sure that you're pulling your sunscreen all the way down your neck and on your chest and any exposed areas, of course. Another area that can show age pretty quickly is the back of the hands, one we don't think about a lot. So you wanna make sure that you have some kind of SPF protection for your hands as well. But going back to sunscreen, it's very important to protect yourself daily from the sun. If you start wearing sunscreen now, when you begin your anti-aging routine, you are setting yourself up for success, I promise you. Everybody will ask you what your secret is when you're in your 50s and 60s, and you're going to tell them 
sunscreen. So the sunscreens that I have to recommend for you guys, I've got two for you. Now sunscreen is super individual and it's really hard to find. And if you're still struggling to find your daily sunscreen, I want to tell you guys to just keep going. Um, it is worth the the pain that it is to find the right sunscreen. It really is worth it. And once you find it, once you know it's the right one, you just keep buying it over and over again. So the first one that I want to recommend for you guys is a chemical sunscreen, and this is the Claire's Soft Area UV Essence. This gets much love on my channel, but not only much love here um, in our community, but this also gets a lot of love by other skincare bloggers. This is pretty well liked. Um, it is a pretty good product for a lot of different skin types. Now, another one that is not only well liked by me but also well liked by a lot of other skincare bloggers I'm really trying to pick very um, almost universal type of sunscreens for you guys here this is a mineral sunscreen so if you can't handle chemical filters I've got a physical one for you here mineral mineral sunscreen is the make cream defense me blue ray sunscreen now this is a really great um, sun cream as well so you've got two choices here you got your uh, chemical filters and you've got your physical filters. So that is my pretty comprehensive guide to beginning your anti-aging routine. So let me know in the comment box below. Have you guys started your anti-aging routine yet? And if you have, let me know the products that you're using. If you made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I release two new skincare videos every single week and if you ring the bell, you'll get notified the next time I upload the new video. I absolutely cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.